Hello there. In this lesson, we are going to be talking about bigger and better sentences. As you've learned from previous lessons, making your sentences longer and more interesting and varied really makes your sentences and your writing shine and stands out to the reader who is reading them. Before we get into them, let's talk about a kernel sentence. A kernel sentence is a simple declarative sentence with only one verb. It is not to be confused with a sentence fragment as it is a complete sentence. Here are a few examples of kernel sentences. Nicole laughed. The dog barked. He played soccer. Now, let's take a look at these sentence kernels more closely as we expand them into longer sentences that have more detail. When expanding a sentence, we want to use the following question words. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. When expanding our sentences, we don't have to use all of these words for each sentence, just a few will do. And for example, if the sentence is Carlos jumped, you won't need to ask the word who because the sentence already contains that information. Let's look at the first kernel sentence and we're gonna start with the words when, where, and why. Remember, our first kernel sentence was Nicole laughed. First of all, when did she laugh? Well, she could have laughed yesterday. She could have laughed last night, this morning, at 11 o'clock. There are various different choices and I decided to say yesterday morning. Let's look at our next question. Where did she laugh? Hmm, she could have laughed at school, in her bedroom, at the park. I decided to say at the park. Why did she laugh? Hmm, she could have laughed because she saw something funny in a movie that she, she was watching, or maybe her friend told her a silly joke. I decided to say, because she saw a squirrel bump into a tree. Now, let's include all of this information into our kernel sentence to create an expanded sentence. One tip before we start expanding is to always start with the answer to the question, when? So the answer to when did she laugh was yesterday morning. So we're gonna start out with that. And here's what I came up with. Yesterday morning at the park, Nicole laughed because she saw a squirrel bump into a tree. Wow, doesn't that tell us so much more than our original sentence, Nicole laughed? We now know more about when she laughed, where she laughed, and why she laughed we have a lot more information that gives us a picture in our minds about what was happening. And it is a lot more interesting than our original kernel sentence. Let's look at the next example. The dog barked. Using the same questions we used in the previous sentence, let's see what we can come up with. When did it bark? Hmm. We could say this morning, last night, yesterday, four o'clock. There are many different options. And I decided to say this morning after breakfast. I wanted to get really specific. So I decided to not only even say this morning, but this morning after breakfast. Where did it bark? It could have barked outside in the backyard, at the park in the bedroom, I decided to say, in the backyard. Why did it bark? 
Maybe the dog heard a noise outside. Maybe it saw something that startled it. Maybe it barked because it was feeling lonely. There are lots of different reasons why dogs bark. I decided to say, it heard a noise rustling outside in the bushes. Now let's take all of this information and add it to our original kernel sentence, which is the dog barked and create an expanded sentence. Here's what I came up with. This morning after breakfast, the dog barked in the backyard because it heard a noise rustling outside in the bushes. Here again, we have a much more interesting and detailed sentence than the original kernel sentence. We know a lot more and it could really help us paint a vivid picture in our minds about what's happening. Let's look at the next example. He played soccer. This time we're going to challenge ourselves and use all of the questions. Who played? Gavin. I just picked a name and said it's Gavin who played soccer. Maybe it would be Michelle or John or Jessica or Megan. Could be anybody and I chose Gavin. What did they play? Well, we don't actually need to answer this because we already know soccer because our original kernel sentence says he played soccer. So we don't really need to answer that one because it's already answered for us. When did he play? Let's see, he could have played last night. He could have played on the weekend, on Saturday, Tuesday. I decided to put last Saturday. Where did he play? He could have played at school, in the backyard, at the park. I decided to say at the park, but I elaborated a little bit and said at the local sports park. Why did he play? He, maybe he played because he was having fun maybe because it was part of a game that he was playing. It was some sort of a playoff or something. I decided to put because it was the final championship. How did he play? So in what manner did he play? I decided to really make this an exciting part. And I said with persistent focus and determination. He, that is how he played. So if we add all of this information to our kernel sentence, this is what we end up with. Last Saturday at the sports park, Gavin played soccer with persistent focus and determination because it was the final championship. Whew, look at all of that information we were able to combine together to make the kernel sentence into a rich and robust complex sentence. It's lots of fun to start with the simplest kernel sentence and think about how you can expand it and make it as interesting and varied as possible and even challenging yourself to answer as many questions as possible. So now it's your turn to expand kernel sentences and make them into bigger and better sentences. We have a lot more lessons at Guidepost with activities that you can do at home or at school. One of my favorites is in the video description below.